Hello everyone and today we will be learning how we can connect our backend to our frontend using react and node.js so first of all we will make a new folder here which we will call as test and we will go to our terminal we will change directly to desktop and we will change directly to test now we will say make directory and we will say front end and back end and uh, we will switch tab and we will say change directory to back end and here we will say touch index dot js and now we will say npm in it yes and we will hit enter now we can say that npm install express which is a package we will need and uh, we will say force as well and we will hit enter so this will install express and course into our backend and uh, now we will go to our front end and we will say change directly to front end npx create react app dot slash so this would create our react app and while it is creating it we will drag this folder into our vs code we will drag it here and uh, while going into backend uh, first we'll have to do one thing we'll go to our package organization and uh, Beside this main, we will hit enter and say type module. So this would help us uh, use import and we will not be uh, required to require use require keyword. So this would help us and uh, now we will save it. We will go to index.js and we'll start by writing import express from express then we will say import course from course and then we will say const app is equal to express so this would create our app and then we will say app dot use course right I think we have placed a lot of brackets there and then we will hit enter again and then we will say app dot listen to app dot listen To port 5000 this is the port we will be listening to and we will say when we start listening we will say console.log app is running we will uh, save this and uh, we will go to our backend and we will say node mon index.js this would start our backend and you can see app is running uh, now first we will test that our backend is sending the data to a frontend or not so for that we will say app dot get and uh, we will say Okay, we can uh, do one thing. We can just directly we can call that in our back end, in our front end, and then we can test that. So in front end, we can say npm start. This would start our development server.
So our development server is also running. Uh, so we will do one thing. We will close this for a moment and uh, we will go to source. We will delete all these files which we do not need. Our goal here is to just check how we can send and receive data. So we will not be concerned about the styling. So we will go to index and we will delete this. We will delete this as well. And we will delete this. And we will hit save. And in app.js we will uh, completely remove all the things and we will use this snippet to create an app. And we will hit save. So we can see that our app shows here. Now I want that this app this text app should not show uh, this particular hard coded app but something which we will receive from backend so uh, for that we'll have to use axios uh, so we will first of all go to our terminal and we'll say npm install axios and we will hit enter So Axios is installed and we can say npm start now and here yes it has started so we can say import Axios from Axios so Axios is used to send and receive uh, requests to the backend so uh, now we will go here and uh, we will say const data set data is equal to use state and we will hit so this we can use uh, to uh, get the data which we receive from the backend and uh, here we will say fonts get data is equal to async function And we will say const response is equal to await axios dot get and we will say http localhost five thousand because it is the uh, port which we are listing at and we will say data or get data right uh, so this we have done and as soon as we receive this so we will say set data which is this one to response or data right and uh, here we can specify that this is a text or a string and uh, here we will say we will show data here right we will show data here and uh, by going here we will say use effect And we will say get data which is this function we will call that as soon as the play page loads and uh, we will specify it right so our front end is basically ready we have uh, specified axios we have imported it we have uh, made a 
data and uh, we can uh, we have uh, or we have requested the data from backend using axios uh, on the port 5000 and get data and we have used use effect and the data which we receive which will be that will be shown here so these are the things which we have done till now now we will uh, save this as you can see uh, this would not show anything because data is currently empty so we will go to backend and index.js and we will write when app.get as our request which we are sending here you can see that it is a get request so we can say app.get and when we uh, receive a get request saying get users I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, get data is the uh, I think the word I specified yes we can copy that so that because this would create error if we uh, although it's the same but it is a good practice to copy that and we'll say that if this we get this specified text as a get request so we will say rest rest which is short form for request and response and we will uh, specify that response dot send hello and we can hit save and you can see this hello appears here so I could have written like uh, we can go to lorem ipsum we can generate a text of five paras maybe and we can copy that and I could have uh, sent this entire text here okay uh, because that's changed lines that is why it is uh, saying this cost error so we can delete this we can delete this we don't need this one line would be sufficient and we will hit save right huge text and we can see that if we reload the complete text we received in our front end so this is how we can uh, send data from our back end to our front end thank you